All right. I've been idling for maybe two and a half, three hours while working on another project. Just doing things to top up my hunger. The one thing that I did build was I built some additional... Uh, I, I just swapped the batteries out for these simple power lines. Yeah, this is not a complicated build. This is just power relays running over all the way back to our windmill. Just on these nice little... I decided that the Norman... We haven't used the Norman decorative blocks, so I wanted to use them for something. And this seemed like a good enough use. And I've changed out our electric grid a little bit. Rather than directly going into our pass-through straight off the kinetic generator, it now goes into a relay first. Hmm. Can I get up there without shocking the hell out of myself? Yeah, surprisingly. It now goes into a relay first, and then into both the pass-through and this power line. So, technically... So long as we link anything up to any of these power lines, it'll be hooked up to our entire electric grid, including the inside of the base. And, uh, yeah, that that was just a simple enough build that I didn't feel bad about off cameraing it. I'll just show it to you now, and it, it, it's done. Yeah. <clears throat> anyway, it has been somewhere between two and a half and three hours. I didn't keep quite track of it. I was just working on other things. And I've just been sitting here topping up my thirst, thermoregulating, eating, and just not looking at these chests. Ah, uh, yes, also, redstone lever just on the controls there. We can turn the pump off if we need to. So, drum roll, please. The grand result of about three ish hours is this much copper and this many gears. A bit underwhelming, to be honest. Oh yes, and also, before I forget, hello, welcome to Journey Beyond the Abyss. I'm sorry that I forgot to do that last time. So, yeah, this is probably an indication that our power system is not sufficient for this purpose. Yeah, we're earning about a thousand RF per second. These things take about a thousand RF per tick. We need more power if we want to if we want to run this chufty fellow. So our options are: we could either continue on increasing our low tech power means. I could build some more windmills. I could build some more uh, water mills. I could cook up a power system that can feed this thing so that I can grind up ridiculous amounts of copper in a reasonable amount of time. Or we could just use the jump start of copper that we've got right now. I'm going to uh, cast out a few iron nuggets and I'm going to swap the chests over there for just regular chests. Yeah. I was hoping to have more copper than that so it would be necessary for me to like haul those crates in and like completely I, and, and like use those as temporary storage. I, I was thinking it would be impossible to integrate. I, I was over ambitious is the long story short there. Yes. But yeah, that that is um that is one option, the low tech power, and we can possibly do that a little bit. But I think I think that maybe we should start going for the higher tech power. We should start working on our diesel generator. I think we have enough copper in storage just from that little trickle source that we've been running, that we can now make a decent go at it. The bigger problem is going to be getting enough steel. Yeah, I don't have anywhere near enough copper to do another casting of steel blocks, and we don't have enough steel blocks in storage to get started on that. Not anywhere close. So we're going to need to get some more charcoal, and that means that we are going to need to get some more glue... Which, yeah, I don't think I'm going to build a squeezer to get glue more easily. I'm just going to run my little, um, that's still loaded up, that is. Is that still completely full? It isn't. I drained it out. Okay. Yeah, let's, let's melt our cop, our, uh, our clay down in here and let's start making some glue Yes, let's just grab our convenient transport barrel. Where did it go? 
Oh yes, also I moved the battery inside. It's just, it has an input and an output. It's taking whatever spare charge there is, which right now is zero. And it is just uh, storing it up. Where did my barrel go? Oh, I have it over here by the creosote. Okay, that's fine. Uh, we don't use the potter's workshop and it's very nearly full. So let's just, oop, it is full of creosote oil. Okay, let's make a new barrel. Barrels are not terribly expensive. And we'll put this over here kind of in a storagey area. Odd that it didn't announce itself right away. Ah, oh, I think I already should have close to enough in here. I think I might need one more piece of sheet metal. Oops. There we go. And I believe it is like so. Yes. Cool new barrel for us. Am I storing these up here? Eh, why not? And now we can get some clay. Six thousand, seven thousand. Uh, let's let's take from the potters and the masons equally. Now get them down to the at least the same rough level. Yeah, that'll do. And let's just uh, keep everything in the artisans basic because that's. The one that we loot that we use the most. Oops. Unfortunate. Oh well. We'll have to move the battery, it looks like. So glue, that's this. And then I think it's this and this. Other way around. There we go. Yep, easy as you please. And that should produce lots. We're gonna need more clay balls. And while we're thinking on it, the next step is going to be to produce more of those wood piles. So let's drag those on over. Not quite that many, I need to at least walk. There we go. And yes, a little bit of liquid clay, a little bit of slime, a little bit of just plain wood pulp, and we get quite a lot of glue. Now, can I make myself a pipette? Come on game. I can, it's kind of a little bit involved. Electrotine creep vine sample, okay. But that needs lubricant. Hmm. So no, I can't make a pipette just yet, which is unfortunate because I'm gonna have to waste a little bit of this liquid clay, I think now. Yeah, you can take out buckets. And unfortunately, without a build craft pipe or a pipe pet, no way to take out this change. Hmm. Hmm. Oh well. Oh well. Come on. Really? I'm still weighed down? Okay. There, that's better. And now we just need this and this, and I believe it is just plain water. Yeah, that makes our new 
wood piles. Oh, it is a pain swapping around fluids in a carpenter. But it's just got to get us by until we can start making one for each type of fluid. Same general principle as the artisan's tables. Actually, it's even worse because unlike the artisan's tables where you're just using them for crafting, with these guys, you need one for each recipe, really. So it's a good thing that they're relatively cheap. Ah, right, I was making some nougats. And nougats are a little bit problematic for whatever reason. Yeah, just sit here flicking the switch. It's fine. It doesn't take too terribly long to cast out. Yeah, bizarre that the automation doesn't work on these. That makes me think that this redstone behavior is a glitch. Like it's some mistake of the usual pulsed redstone behavior that you expect. Hmm. How we doing? I should have only put one block in. I'm being a bit greedy. Regardless, let's just take that, take some planks, grab our nice wood pile, and make us some regular old chests to replace the special ones that we put over at the uh, pump jack. And why you know. Why you know. Hello. Yeah, that's... You've confirmed the recipe, so why you inventory needs... Oh, I forgot to put them in. Of course. Forgive me, for I am very dumb. And... Unfortunately... What do ash bricks cost? They cost four ash per. I don't think we have enough ash. We need to make 45, right? That's 16, 32, 35. Uh, 45. Well, shoot, we have exactly enough. Hot damn. Okay. Okay. Yeah, maybe, maybe. I, th I think regardless, we need some more, um, we need some more clay bricks. So let's smelt a couple stacks of that. And I think for that, I actually need to use the old cast. Yeah. And just a dupe, a dupe, and a dupe. Wait, did I already have some in there? No, I guess not. I just had some of the dross you usually see from clay bricks for some reason. Well, regardless. Okay, so let's grab all the ash we have. And we're, in fact, going to need to empty this thing out one more time. Let's put this here. 
just so that we don't lose track of our stuff. Yes. Uh, I said unfortunately, and then I kind of cut myself off. Yes. Unfortunately, we decided Silk Touch was not for us, so I can no longer easily deconstruct and reconstruct the clay blocks on this thing. So I need something a bit easier to use, and we might as well use the fanciest substance we have. Which would be ash bricks, which I'm making right now. Yes. Just clean out the inventory before we pick it up. A bit neater. And reconnect. And now we should be able... Which way around was it? Ricks on the cardinals. Ash on the corners. And it used lava, I do believe. You know, we might as well just build us another barrel. Start building a barrel collection. Because they are cheap. And they hold 12 blocks, which isn't bad. It isn't great, but it's better than a seared tank. Although a seared tank would show off the liquid visibly instead of having to do this stupid mousing over it, which I imagine is going to become a problem sooner or later if I have a lot of these. Oops. Regardless. We don't use the blacksmiths a whole lot. So let's just steal some from it. Well, actually, let's try and science how much I need. So it uses 200 per. So a bucket makes five. I'm going to need to make 45 of these. Because it's, uh, it's nine per side and there are six sides. So... Yeah, this is nowhere near enough lava, is it? I probably don't have anywhere near enough lava. We need to start making some more. In fact, I might just need to go and fetch some from the volcano. That would be faster than smelting it ourselves. That sounds wise. In any case, let's get this going in the meantime. Yeah. No, wait, I should just need nine buckets, right? Yeah, that... Okay. I put eight in there. And just the rest of our bricks, just in case. Yeah, I did need more. Okay, one more. And let's see if that's enough. It is. That is exactly enough. Excellent. Okay. I was miscounting in my head for whatever reason. Yep, the carpenter is a little bit of a slower process, but that's fine. Maybe I should just keep this chest here as general carpenter stuff and only load it up with what it needs at the time. That might be wise. Right. Need these. So this will, in fact, slightly increase the efficiency of this, but that's not really the important thing. The important thing is that I can uh, take these down without breaking them down and having to... Um, I, I, I am getting all the clay back. It's just that in order to... Oh, I should do the bottom first. That would be wise. that would be slightly more efficient. Yep. Uh, the important thing is that I can just dig these up without problem, yes. Get the back row first, easier to judge. And now 
this side. There we go. Yes, it's looking a little bit more officious anyway, isn't it? Kind of more of a, a serious charcoal creating industry we've got here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. A big boy, proper brick and mortar burner. Very industrious. It... One, two, three, four, five, six. Oh, 54. Shoot. Well, that's not too hard. Yeah, he ain't. Nine times six is 45. Nah. Where is my brain tonight? I shouldn't record after finishing another project. I was just asking for it. Was I keeping these? They're kind of pyrotech. Ish. Yeah, because that's where I'm keeping the log piles. So we'll keep the log piles and the wood piles there. In any case, I did not have enough ash. Ooh. Boy, that's unfortunate. Okay, well, we just need to compact down a little bit of clay and do one more burn then. Seven, eight. And then nine. Oh, we already had it up. A dirt. We'll just keep those. No, even better, we'll melt those. Yeah. Okay. Well, nothing to do but to light it up. Get a little bit more ash to finish the project. Yeah, that's a... Uh, we didn't quite think that through. <clears throat> Well, that'll give us more charcoal anyway. I think that some of it will be will count as surrounded by ash blocks and some of it won't, or I, I don't know how it works. It'll probably just use the lowest value, which will be the clay blocks, but the clay blocks aren't serving us badly. In any case, yes, yes, yes. The chests that I wanted to bring over. Funny how just getting a couple of chests to bring over to the uh, to the casting operation turned into a whole ordeal, didn't it? That's just how it goes. Yeah, let's not even look at those. Let's just boop and a boop. A boop and a dupe. Yep, and we will pick them up using our chests, and we'll keep these just for our inventory management. I mean, I could make more. It's just creosote. And it would be a good excuse to expand the uh, Coke ovens, but eh. Okay, so all our copper ingots. Not a bad collection. It built up just a little bit more while we were working on it. And there we go. So we've got a little, am I still? Oh, the casts, right. I should put, right, right, right. Uh, the casts are simply, um, you might have noticed when I did that sweeping view for the dramatic cinematic intro that not all the tables had, uh, had casts on them anymore. That was just, while I was idling, I would sometimes take a look and say, I would see, like, I have way more ingots than I have gears. Gears are coming in really slow. So I was adjusting the ratios and playing with, like, how many each one should be. And it, it was just, in the end, when it's running so slow like this, there's no reason not to just have one of each. I built way too many casting tables. But that might be useful for when we do have a diesel generator up. Regardless. Let's at least start making some of the functional parts 
of what we're going to need. So let's, again, have this down as our just storage, get an industry in a box going. And uh, no, not a diesel generator. The first thing we're going to need is, since we already technically have a pump jack, do I want to make another pump jack? I mean, I guess that there's no technical reason why I couldn't. They're not terribly expensive. Honestly, the most expensive bit of the pump jack might, well, it's all the steel, of course, and all of them. But, eh, blah, blah. okay, well, let, let's make the distillation tower first. Just so that we get it going. So that needs 25 steel scaffolding. What have we got in terms of scaffolding right now? Looks like nada. Well, that's fine. Let's run a stack of steel into rods. Are you using the rod cast? You are. And let's also... Eh. I guess that while that's working, we can work on the next bit. So that's 30 steel scaffolding slabs. So what have I got for steel plate? Oh, eh, I got a bit. So what does that get us? That gets us almost enough, honestly. A little bit uneven, but oh well. So there's these slabs all slabbed up. What? I, oh, that's scaffolding slab, not sheet metal slab. Derp. Bit of a waste of steel. Oh well. We can turn it back into sheet metal. And does that avail us of anything? It makes a core sample? What? I, I beg your pardon? What does that do? It's just a core sample. It doesn't even have a display. Is it just a display piece? What? I, I don't... Okay. Fine. I'm sure we'll find a use for steel scaffolding. It would be useful for making more pump jacks. Okay, so steel or, or sheet metal. I'm getting them confused even now. What I do need is 60 iron sheet metal. That's easy enough. Yep. Sheet metal is a one-to-one -one ratio of plates to sheet metal, so it's really easy to calculate. Uh, do I still have stuff in the smeltery? Yeah, I do. Let's finish casting that out. Just sit and flick the switch until I stop seeing smoke or pores. Not a big deal. It's fine. This shouldn't take too terribly long. I put in way too much metal, though. I put in way too much metal for a simple uh, couple of chests. But accession is a bit of a... Uh, a bit of a virtue when it comes to these stages of the pack. Now, do I want to... Yeah, I'm going to want a lot more... Yeah, I, I want a lot more mechanical components. I don't have a lot in the way of... Mm. Smelt everything. I'll get more. Ah, good. The tyranny of mass did not catch up to us for a couple of seconds. Love it when that happens. Hmm. Yeah, we just blow through that iron real quick, don't we? At least using it the way we do. I am going to need to raid another ship when it comes time to cast some more steel, though. How's this doing? It's crackly. And it's stinky. Uh, 
All right, so 60 sheet metal, check. Redstone engineering block, check. 17 fluid pipe, easy peasy. Honestly, the extras are probably going to be desirable anyway. Uh, four heavy engineering blocks is probably going to be the toughest part, yeah. Other than just all the scaffolding. Okay, so got us a nice couple of sets of rods. Let's make us a nice couple of sets of, of scaffolding. It's always the last one. So remind me, how many do I need exactly? 25 with 30 slabs, so. And let's see here. If I'm not mistaken, this one batch of six, that should translate into... Yeah, 12. So then it's going to need... Twenty-four and thirty. That'll finish out the slabs. Yeah, we might as well. Oh, thirty-six. Derp. Where is my maths tonight? Ugh. And from there, we also need twenty-five. 12, 18, 24. Do we have any spares anywhere? No, we don't. So make some excess. It's fine. And store our lovely accession of rods. And that's what we need, right? 25 and 30. So, 25, 30, and yeah, those are kind of stored up there. Okay, so, scaffolding, slab, pipe, redstone, I think all that's left is the four heavy engineering blocks. Which, I'm going to need some more light engineering blocks. Now remind me, that's eight, so I'm gonna need a half a stack of copper gears. I'm gonna need a half a stack of mechanical components. And I'm just gonna need a bunch of iron ingots and a bunch of, and that should, there we go. Yep, bunch of engineering blocks, goody. I really itch to automate these. And from there, we make it into some pistones. I need, no, I don't need more cobble just yet. Ah, yes, I found out that these things, unfortunately, don't make fence posts. Yeah, there's... Wait, there is a giant sequoia fence. But why did it... Oh, it's made in the carpenter with treated sticks. That's kind of crap. Hmm. Yeah. So if you have a wonderful excess of treated sticks, you can make fence posts out of sequoia. But otherwise, I think you're going to want to keep 
you're going to want to keep some jungle trees, some jungle wood around. So I might have like another stash in here somewhere just for jungle wood. Go and keep myself a couple stacks of it handy. Come on, game. There we go. Now those four pistons are nice and ready for us to turn them into lovely heavy engineering blocks. Just needs five electrum, four bronze gears. I need more electrum. How am I on silver ore? I should have picked up some. Tin, copper, gold, lead. Hmm. Didn't I have some unknown ores that were likely looking lads? Tin. What looks silvery? Zinc. Aluminum. Completely unknown. Hmm. Lithium. Okay, we need to find some silver. Hmm. So, our options are... We could go... Um, we could move the pump jack. We do have a couple of just plain old liquid silver veins. Or we could go prospecting for a vein of Galena. Which would give us a nice amount of it. Pretty turn. Oh, wait, no. Didn't I smelt up a ton of Electrum plates? Yeah, I did. They came out as plates, by the way. So, yeah, we have Electrum. We have Electrum. If I just remember that I do, in fact, have it. And all we need to do is melt these back down. Oh, right. That happened. Oh, boy. Well, you know, it's more useful as ingots anyway. We'll just let some of that smelt out. And when uh, we can get the electrum out if there's a little bit of spillover both ways it's fine come on there should be more space than just five ingots does electrum take up more space than iron does in the tank that makes no sense Regardless, there's our initial ask. There we go. Why did I keep... Oh, I just couldn't shove it all in. Alright. Anyway, four of those. And then eight steel and four... Steel mechanical bits. Yeah, just four. And just eight. There we go. That should be heavy mechanical engineering blocks with a side order of derp. And that should be everything. Let's check our book. And. Da, 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 da. Yep, that's all checks. Now. The distillation tower. If I look in the recipe for crude oil. Uh, just plain old immersive petroleum crude oil. Goes into distillation tower. That's going to produce gasoline, diesel, and lubricant. 
and it's also going to produce a tiny amount of bitumen. So, immersive engineering has an option for mass storing liquids. It's the tank. And each of these just needs four treated wood fence and 34 iron sheet metal. So yeah, if the Electrum is done with its drama, I am going to switch this over back to plates because we are going to need a lot of sheet metal. There we go. And let's just get the Electrum moved over. Still have some Electrum plates for some reason. Okay. Fine, whatever. You can just sit in there and think about what you've done. How are we doing on the charcoal? Sounds like it's done. Nope, nope, nope. I hear crackle. I hear crackle. It just took a moment. Well, regardless. In the meantime, let's just do what we can. Let's also get some more liquid pipes, just in case. Can never have quite enough of those. So, let's just convert an entire set into sheet metal. Yeah, so stack. So if I need three, then I'm gonna need 68. Plus 34, 90, 102. I'm going to need 102 sheet metal. I don't quite have enough on hand, but that's why we have more casting. So, Oop, wrong shop. So this will make enough to make two tanks even that I have in there already. And then I just need 34 more. Which of course I can't do evenly. Shoot. Well, excess. Always make more than you think you need. And now I'm just on to the treated wood planks, which means I'm going to need more ash and creosote oil. So we're waiting on the charcoal burn once more. Hmm. I guess I might as well work on... Right, I forgot to pour the clay out. I wanted to keep on pouring it out while it was working, but eh. I'm too forgetful or I've got too many things on my plate, depending on how kind you want to be. So which one of these is clay? None of them, probably. Do I need to be carrying the hammer in my hand to see what's in them? No, that ain't it. Bucket. That does it. Okay. So, remember, need to carry bucket in hand to see what's in. Well, we have some creosote oil in already. Still, I want to get some more making, and I'm kind of out of coal. So let's just bung a bunch of wood in there. It's inefficient, it's slow, but wood is cheap now that we have our giant sequoias, and it might as well be doing something. If we have something better for it to do, we'll have it do it. Ah. 
I don't hear any more crackle. All right. And yeah, let's just bust the whole thing down because we are going to increase this thing to its final form. Yeah, let's just store the ash right over here because this is the place where we use 90% of it. And I don't know. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. Yeah, six, almost seven stacks is about what we can expect from a usual burn with clay. So we haven't earned any more efficiency just yet, but we are about to. Except I also need some more regular old bricks, don't I? Well, that's easy enough. And from there, just... And just like that, we've got bricks. And they went on the cardinals, while these went on the edges. And unfortunately, I don't think I can make nine evenly. I need two buckets of lava to make ten. Yep. Well, such is life. Let's steal one from the engineering, just so it doesn't feel lonely. Let's go buy some more cobble. It's been a while since we've done that. It dudes to check in on the town anyway. Alright, how you guys doing? How you been? Still a horrendous crowd? Yeah, you sure are. Okay. It's been a while. I'm... Yeah, I lost all my funding to the butterfly dynamic trees, isn't it? So let's build up some funds just to feel good about ourselves having a lot of money. Mm. Right, right, right. Check in on town. So it looks like... The only projects they have are the village walls, which just needs more iron. And this, which needs uh, tapestries, which I cannot make. I just need to supply them with the resources to make it themselves. Well. Hmm. No, I don't feel like doing that right now. And we kind of need all our iron for ourselves at the moment. How's this doing? Yep. It's been about like half an hour, 45 minutes. So I estimated it about a copper per minute. Well, technically two copper per minute. It's just that half of it's going into gears. A bit slow, but completely automated. What the heck was I doing? Building a distillation tower, yes, but what step? Of right, I was making the ash bricks to finish off that. That's what the heck I was doing. And I'm going to need more wood piles. Which means I'm going to need more glue. Just resupply that area. 
which means it's time to pump the blood bank. Got lots of things to do today. Yep. Always does to check in on it and make sure nothing is malfunctioned. I don't think there's anything more that can malfunction in this. Hmm. I should reconstruct some of the uh, some of the decor blocks that I accidentally got. Eh, maybe. It's not noticeable if I'm not scooting around it. It still has a very pretty facade. And there we go. Now, has our smeltery finished yet? No, it hasn't. Yeah, why does that fourth one fail? Hmm. Bizarre. Regardless, let's put those in there. Get those in there. Get us our stack of mechanical components. And see how, oh, it's almost done. It's almost done. We can, we can pour our blood on in there. It won't harm anything. We don't have any clay in there to alloy it into pig iron, so it's fine. Hmm. Maybe I should upgrade those to metal barrels? No, metal barrels can't pour out the sides. Hmm. Can these taps take off from a... Or I could just, you know, fluid pipe down to the bottom. Then this would be a super fast fill. Hmm. It would still be a super slow pour out from the blood bank, though. I might as well get another one. We might as well pump the blood bank for all it's worth just while we're waiting on random stuff to happen. That's... That's ready. So now we take that out completely. Re-give it signal. And that'll start pouring out into blood balls automatically for us. And since four tanks means 100 blood balls, that should be an even process. So, so long as I don't get that weird bug where one glitches out and stops accepting, it should be fine. And if it doesn't, it's a little bit of wasted blood, and blood is free and infinite, right? So it's more the annoyance of just having to deconstruct and reconstruct a casting table than anything. Or possibly four casting tables. Either way is not much trouble. But yeah, let's just make us a boatload of slime to make us a boatload of glue, just relatively quickly. And of course it has glitched out in a completely new way. Beautiful. Well, it'll be fine. Let's just start carting the sheet metal out of here. I've got two more stacks. Maybe make another stack of mechanical components. Yeah, I do. Thank you. 
I've certainly got the copper to swing for it. We're building up a nice supply. Seriously though, what is the major malfunction with this thing? Okay, let's completely let it settle. Let it all empty out. Y'all good? You golden? Okay. It looks like, okay, sometimes it, so something's causing these two to sometimes hesitate and it looks like if it's not perfectly in sync, it won't all forecast. Would it be better if I upgraded these to full hoppers so it had more than one slot it could pull into? Is maybe the problem that there's only one slot and two things are trying to input it into this into it at the same time, and like hoppers don't cotton onto that or something? I mean, full hoppers are pretty expensive. Eh, yeah, red and light. Maybe once I've got red and light engineering blocks more under control. Regardless, let's make them make us some wood pulp. So Yeah, that's uh one bucket gets me 16. So one stack. Two stack. Three stack. I've lost count. Stupid limited tanks. How you doing? You're completely full up, of course. And you still ain't even close to emptying out your wonderful supply of clay. You are ready for another batch of steel, but I don't think I actually have the iron to pull it right now, so I need to go and deconstruct another ship's worth of goods. Hmm. Yeah, I think that might just be what I have to do. Well, regardless, let's at least finish this structure just so that we aren't carrying around ash blocks anymore. There we go, structure complete. And do I have any other use for these things? Nope. Well. Just so I can say that I have it just in case. Okay, so that's... Right. Four stacks, or three stacks and one then. At least I think so. Yeah, that'll do it. So then I need that many more and that'll make me four stacks of pulp. Okay, and then I just need four stacks of clay balls. I need some more clay balls. Let's repair our shovel. Let's repair all our tools. Hmm. 
Do I have any pig iron? I should. I made a ton of it. And actually, yeah, while I'm in the neighborhood and thinking on it, let's grab, oh, let's grab these. And over to our smashy. And do some smashy, because apparently we need to. I don't think this process can be automated. Hell, hoppers aren't even compatible with it. Okay, so there we go. And now torturously inch our way back to the table. Because, yeah, I'm all about that rapid fire. Let's put everything on rapid fire. Mm-hmm. We needed to have some dust just for using anyway. So this is a little bit helpful. Yeah, and now our draw speed should be pretty ridiculous. Well, not ridiculous, but not bad. Anyway, clay balls. There's a nice bed of clay. I mean, I've seen some, but I want something to sink my teeth into like that. That's a bit more like it. Let's just completely filter our inventory so that we can mine without fear. It's an excuse for sloppiness, but oh well. It's a sloppy process. Swim around and collect our bounty. Really wish I had a magnet of some sort, other than the crappy Tinker's one which I can't even really use just because I have other modifiers and properties I need on my tools. Like, honestly, I can't imagine playing this pack without Aqua Speed. Simply because without it, you are all but powerless underwater and you spend a lot of time underwater in this pack. I suppose I could switch out my tool rods for iron, but yeah, no, the XP orbs are honestly just a nice little bonus. It's good to have a source of experience because I avoid combat. I mean, not that I can use XP for anything just yet. Really, an, ang an angry ender boy. Well, come on and get me. Yeah, I'd like to see you try it down here, buddy. Really? Wow. Okay. Well, uh we can we can work with that. I honestly surprised myself there with, uh, I wasn't expecting to fill up that quickly. I wasn't expecting to fill it up at all. 
Like, I was expecting to start suffering from hypothermia by now. Dang. Sloppy of me not to refilter. Yeah, yeah, I know, Innerman. You're angry that I exist. Cry me a river. We all have problems. Okay. And I guess just boop and boop. And we are outie. This should hopefully be enough clay to last me for a little while. But then again, we are kind of going through it a lot. Now that I'm using clay for a charcoal industry, that is going to be very hungry. Can I even fit all this in the stash? That's a bit of a question. Yeah, not even close. Oh boy. Well... We did a, a little bit of an excessive trip. I should make a mechanical compactor for this. What's that cost? Honestly, nothing too bad. Yeah. Yeah, okay. Let's have that be our decadence of the day. Let's... I guess for right now, just store all these in here, too. Right, and I'm going to need four of them for the uh, clay ball over here. Yeah. So, da, 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 da. let's see. Slime in Carpenter. That is clays on the Cardinals. And pulse on those. Why do you still report that as your recipe? I, I guess it's because it won't. Okay, so let's see here. Five, a bucket will make five. So 12 will get me 60. And I'll have a little bit of change with 13 buckets worth, but oh well. I guess this will be an answer to how much this thing holds. It holds eight buckets. Exactly. And I need 13 buckets. Exactly. So I'll just pick up the 13th from here. Yes, trying to be a little bit more frugal about my uh, my carpenter use, because it is a pain cleaning it out. And that should make us a stack of glue. For which we will then make a bunch of wood to make a bunch of charcoal. That is the plan. So, I need a mechanical hopper. So I'm going to need three tarred planks in total. Just bung those over on. Oh, right. I haven't made the drains for this thing yet. Oh, that is my own damn fault. That was just laziness on my part. Well, the good news is that once we lay these out, it should spread into all the blocks. So, 
What I need is refractory collectors, I believe they're called. Yes. So I'm going to need six of those charcoal filters. Been a while since we made those, hasn't it? Where? Oh, right. It would be in farming, wouldn't it? Yeah, so we're going to need to make two of those. We're going to need 12 paper. Yeah, what, what is the recipe? Right, okay. Uh, so we're gonna need... Okay, first we're gonna need 16 paper and 16 pulp. As well as four charcoal to make those initial Item filled. No, no, it was for wool, forgive me. There we go. And then with those, we're going to need just two charcoal, very cheap on charcoal, as well as 12 more paper, very expensive on paper. Okay, so that's that. Next, we're going to need seven per, so 2142. Of which, of course, we have nowhere near enough. Do I have an easier recipe for refractory clay? I mean, it's already pretty easy. But the carpenter has not availed me of it yet, no. The carpenter has made so many things easier. I was wondering if that was on the list, but it isn't. Okay, I seem to be out of limestone. Oh, joy. How am I doing in here? Yep, I am out of limestone. Joy of joy, miracle of miracles. This day keeps getting better and better, doesn't it? And it's entirely my fault. This is all my own lack of planning, lack of uh, continued preparation, all just coming to say hello all at once, isn't it? So I have absolutely no right to complain. I have not been wearing my F7 mode this whole time, have I? It usually makes no visual difference, so you forget about it. I uh, also... I should top up my thirst, and I should get in the habit of, when I go underground, carry a bucket of water just in case I do get thirsty. So, what's... I think that while I was digging around deep... Enderman? Okay. Let's solve that issue, shall we? You just, uh... You have a nice non-existence, Mr. Enderman. Just swim away from our problems. Tag the Alchemist Island. And swim our way back. And he should be nice and non-existent as we prefer our Enderman to be. I suppose that's the disadvantage of digging with a hammer is you're building corridors tall enough that Enderman can follow you into your mines. And yeah, I have no fence posts. We're just going to have to have our head bonked a few times. Hunting down limestone. But nah, here's, here's a nice layer of it. Oh, sweet. We're getting solid chunks of limestone. That's pretty awesome. I need to replace that block anyway. Just to maintain the support. Yeah, I don't need to terribly much. Just enough to get me by for the moment. So, mine out this vein of it and we'll call it good.
Hmm. Can I silk touch these ores? Nope. Quite a lot of whatever this stuff is that I'm finding. I forgot my stupid inventory manager. Oh well. We'll just crawl our way back out. It's fine. We don't have very far to go. And just like that, we're back inside. And everything's nice and golden. Okay. Unknown ores. Yeah, almost got a stack of that stuff, whatever it is. I hope it's silicon. Silicon is useful for a bunch of things. So, regardless. 16 of these, 16 of those. And give it a smack. And give it... Why do I still have a bucket of water? I thought I emptied that out. Give it a foosh. And I saw that I already had some uh, flint clay inside of there, so we have a nice easy batch of refractory stuffs. And do I have a set of refractory balls already on hand? No. So I'll keep like some of it and... Should I? No. Well, maybe. What does the fluid pump cost? It's really cheap. It's really cheap. I need to wire it because it would be pumping, but it's really cheap. Oh, it would be decadent. Yeah, it's worth it. Okay, okay. So let's separate these. Oops. I said separate separate these like so and let's build us a really cheap device that is really awesome it's made entirely out of just like a single yeah a single mechanical piece and just some iron plates let's just build a ton of fluid no 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 that's not how you build fluid pipes this is how you build fluid pipes. And a single pump. And that is going to need to be wired up. But that's not a huge deal. Let's, yeah, let's actually, let's run this under the floor and let's do a pass through over at the other end. There's something I want to test anyway. So, first of all, do I want this inset in completely? Mm. Let's see, it outputs out the top, if I recall, right? No, it takes in power at the top, which is problematic. Mm. And it inputs from the bottom, I think. Yeah, it inputs from the bottom, outputs out the sides. Where, where is the output on this thing? Does it need to be configured? No. Why are you so mysteriously deep? Does it need to be configured? It do. Okay, so output, output, give it pipes as well as to you two outputs for everyone. There you go. 
And then it's going to need power in here. And I'm going to see if this one right here, I'm going to see if glowstone can be used as a pass-through block. So yeah, that's lit up. Okay. Now we might as well take the moon pool. We use it so rarely. So if I swim under here and I do this, can I boop it? I can. It loses its glow, though. I don't like that. So, space next to it. That'll lose the connected texture, but that's less problematic. Moonpool. Yep, it's fine. So, boop to boop. And now we just need to run a relay under there. So, one thing you want to do when you are running cables is you click on it, and then you get as far away from it as you can until the text down there, see down here, turns red. That'll show you the range limit of your cables. And then you can just keep on keeping on down the line. Yeah, this looks unsafe as all hell. We're electrifying the water. It's great. Now, can I... Yeah, okay, I think that's how I'm going to get it in, is we'll into here, and then up here. Yep, that'll do. And that should have us a powered pump. Which, oh, it needs a redstone signal. Right, right, right. I just remembered that immersive engineering pumps need a redstone signal. They accept it on all sides. No? Okay, then. So do you need to be in the water itself? Is that the issue? Aha, uh -huh. it's just really slow. It is just really slow, but that's fine. That's fine. And it's really slow because we're running the pump jack, of course. So we're only getting a trickle of power, but that's fine. Yep, that's fine. So that has been our Decadence of the day. And from there, I can just dupe a dupe and a dupe. And let's keep one stack of refractory balls and turn one directly into bricks. And that, yeah, let's just keep those down there. And what the hell was I doing? I was making refractory collectors. Yes, 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 yes. Got that right over there. So I need 42. As well as seven pulp, and we're done. Oh, did I miscalculate? No, wait, no, no, no. I did not miss. 
Now the unfortunate fact is that we have a bit of an electrical hazard on our floors. And yes, if I am not mistaken, then... E no. Hmm. Well, that should still also allow these to be part of the network, right? Right. Neat. Okay, cool. It's probably for the best that we empty these out anyway. Can I make some, like, refractory glass or something? Refractory tank. Yeah. There's no recipe for it. Darn. Well, we just need to remember to put a torch inside every so often. And all of that was for the fact that I need to make some tarred boards to make yet more decadence. Hmm. Our drinking hole is dangerous now and hard to access. Hmm. But it's so decadent. We have another drinking hole by the carpenter. It's fine. Speaking of, how you doing? You doing just fine. Okay, and just like that, we can just take, uh, I don't have any on here. What happened to my other one? What happened to my other crate? Did I lose it somewhere? Did I put it in here for some reason? I think I've just mysteriously lost a crate. I'll have to review that in footage, what I did with it. Hmm. Regardless, one, two, three, four of those. Two, three, four. Now, how much water is this going to need? Okay, it needs 13. Oh, right. The change. Yeah, really wish I could have a pipette right now, but it is not to be. So where did the cable go? Wait, the last time I was using that, I was like using it to offload. There it is. There it is. That's a relief. Now, ah, and there that is. That is also a relief. Oh, right. Okay. Okay, so that's one, and now just one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. More, and that should complete a bunch of wood pile for us. I should automate the output on that somehow, because it's going to make more than a stack, isn't it? E no, it's going to make exactly a stack. Cool. And let's get that burning.
Yeah, I think this episode is largely going to be a preparation and gathering and processing episode. I'm probably not going to actually build the uh, distillation tower that we have plotted out. But it is nice to get all this stuff together, isn't it? Yeah, it do. Really wish I had that pipette. But it's not so bad so long as we remember to empty out the carpenter before we load it up again. And put all this in the miscellaneous pyrotech fuels. Ah, cool. No, we don't have enough to do two burns there. Right, right, right. The mechanical compactor. Right. The other decadence of the day. Haha. -ha. Uh, I needed tarred boards. Oh, I already had some. Uh, well, we needed to get that done anyway. Believe me. So, mechanical hopper. Uh, it's going to be a little bit of stone rod, three stone bricks. Going to need to get some more masonry bricks pretty soon. And three pulp. Gonna get a hang of that storage system one of these days. Okay. Da, 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 da. And then a piston. Do I have a spare piston anywhere? No, I just need to make it. It's fine. Yeah, no way I can extract with scroll wheel right now, it looks like. I miss that functionality. There we go. And from there, two masonry bricks and two more masonry. I need to burn some more masonry. I need to buy some more cobblestone. A visit to the to the Normans it is. It's just turning dawn. How wonderful. And how you doing? You doing fine. Yeah, this is a nice little background process that's going on when we don't really need to run anything else. We don't have, like, a crusher that we need to power right now. So, it's fine to just have that producing a tiny amount of copper. Although I do wonder if we could get it producing more. I don't know if the windmill we stole acquired legitimately. I don't know if the windmill that we legitimately acquired needs sales or not. Or if it already has... Really, am I... No, you're just not giving them to me for whatever reason. Well, that's fine. This is enough to get by for the moment. That is a tarred plank. Not what I intended to put down. They are not... Okay. Okay, Normans, you're getting a little bit... You're getting a little bit uh, frustrating with all your bullshit. You gotta crowd around me. I know I'm the town celebrity with all the stuff I provided you and all the projects I've funded, but a little bit of space would be appreciated when I'm trying to just shop. The filter is clogged. The filter is unclogged. Okay, you know what? No, let's not. Hmm. 
let's just yeah, and let's yeah, let's keep the rest just as cobblestone for the moment. And there we go. Okay. Maybe I should keep some smooth stone just in case. Eh. It's so easy to just get a ton of cobble. Okay, and now we just need, like... Well, let's complete the process. There. Processing complete. And... Was going in here, I think. No, it's going in here. Okay, so we need eight, ten of those, and we need eight of those. And there we go. With just two more, we should finally be able to make the mechanical hopper that has been hounding us. So, from there, how does this thing work? Does it need yet another hopper just to automate it fully? And also, I need to... Yeah, here we go. Get rid of all those. I should have some chests from that big set I built. As well as some... Um, Sticks. Yep. Oh, I'm completely out of glue. Well. We can just... Make a little bit more. What was it? It was clay balls. Right. I think it was just clay on the cardinals. Pulp everywhere else. Give it a single bucket of liquid. And that makes us some glue. That, I should be able to make a hopper. Oh, right. And from there, if I'm right about this thing needing a hopper in the first place, we might as well start using just chests for everything. Okay. And if I recall, this thing also needs a cog. So I need one of those. Four of those. I've forgotten how to do the cog dance a little bit. There we go. Okay, and then... Good thing we just made a ton of these, huh?
And there we go. Wooden cog, and the rest should be much more straightforward. Eight of those. Eight of those. Eight of those. Eight of those. And eight of those. Boop. 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 And dupe. Yep, I was right that it needed a cog. And... Right, I wanted to do this. Neat. Not neat. So then, get in there. So then this is the slot that needs the hopper on it? Question mark? Yeah, that do. So then another hopper on that one. Five of those, and a single piece of glue. So a hopper up there. That should input into it, right? Right. And as I said, just use chess. How much, how much does a chest cost in terms of water? Cost 200, so make them five at a time. Which, all our iron nuggets are still in this. Oh yeah, it's also time to shut this off. So, doop, and doop, and loop. Five chests, easy as you please. Don't even need to cycle the thing. And then I can just put that there. And now I can just easily compact a bunch of things. And we can get that process going once again. And the story continues. All right. So, that's still going. Uh, so, if I'm planning, right, right, right. I think the next thing I need, needed was a bunch of, let's see, I wanted to make three tanks, which I have enough sheet metal in there. The other thing it needs is, I'm gonna need 12 treated wood fences. which is relatively easy. It's mostly just a bunch of treated sticks. Which is gonna require a bunch of pulp. Which is four per, okay.
and that should make me a nice stack of pulp. But I am also going to need to make treated... Yeah, well that's thankfully very easy to calculate. So I got that going for me, which is nice. But I don't think I have anywhere near enough creosote oil. And in any case, I need two stacks of it, yeah. Hmm. So how you doing, Coke Oven? You're doing good. I like it. So that. Okay, so to, to make treated wood, yeah, it's one per, so it needs eight buckets. And that has seven buckets. Now let's get one the more controlled way. There we go. And then just... Dump it all in there. I really should have a better solution to thirst by now. I mean, I could make the like, uh, I could make the golden and apple and carrot juices, things like that, but those are bottles. They don't stack together. I think that's kind of inconvenient, to be honest. Like, I think this is a full, it's a full thirst fill with a buff, but eh. Let's put these, like, over here. Get another stack. Yeah, let's just fill it up manually. Fill it up all the way, if we can. It takes a moment. Our filter is probably clogged by now. Oh, once I have the once I have the petroleum industry going, I can automate this and the filter will never clog again. That's inspiration. That is upcoming decadence, all right. Still at it. Yeah, those things are slow. Unfortunately, I think it is, in fact, the fastest, easiest way to output from those things. I don't think... Well, build craft pipes, yeah. Build craft pipes that I need the diesel for. We'll get there. We will get there. Not today, but we will get there soon. I'm honestly surprised that none of the uh, the blood tables got jammed. How's the copper going? Copper's going kind of okay. Yep, so this is like about what it's been maybe, an, eh, oh crap, it's been like an hour and 20 minutes since I replaced those or so. This has been a long day and I've not gotten all that much useful done. This has been a derp day, unfortunate. Well, let's answer the question. Do I want to build a new pump jack? I kind of do. I kind of don't want to move our setup over there. I just want to turn it off. I, 
I, yeah, okay. That's the tiebreaker. I have enough heavy engineering blocks already. In fact, I think I have enough of all the engineering blocks. Light. One redstone. Yeah. Okay. All I need, I think, is the uh, four steel sheet metal. Two blocks of steel. All I think I need is the treated wood fences, which I'm building for another purpose anyway. Yeah. Build a bit more scaffolding. Oops. There we go. Uh, some more fluid pipes. Yeah, sure. Let's just let's just get a few more in there. Why not? I know we already have extras, but why not? And yeah, now I just need to remember make six extra wooden fences for what I think I need. So yeah, that's a pump jack in the box. We've essentially got a small oil industry in the box right now. And right, the creosote for those other treated. Let's just do this manually. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Stack of treated wood. Now, the question is, how do we want to do this in terms of sticks, and how do we want to do this in terms of... What does it take to make the fence? Tree fence. Okay. Okay, so... Five crafts per bucket. How many buckets of creosote do I have in here? I have three. Let's do just the one. Yeah, that's also five crafts per. So to make three tanks, I need six more than I think I do. And I need 12, so I need 18. So I need to do four crafts. So. That should be No, wait, I need four buckets, I should say. So I need some more creosote. What else is new? And yeah, you don't have much for me just yet. I need more ash. I don't hear crickle crackle. Okay. Let's cycle that. Right, right, right. It's in the pyrotech now. There we go. Lovely. And it feels good being able to immediately cycle this out. Okay, so for comparison, 
Last time we got nearly seven-ish stacks. Now we got one, two, three, four, five, six, nearly seven. Still the same amount. It's not any more efficient for all the work that it took. Oh boy. Well, the important thing is that we don't need a silk touch shovel anymore. Right, the ash is what I needed. Well, that should be more than enough, in fact. Yeah, two more buckets. That should be 20 treated wood fences when I need 18. Okay. What are you missing? You're missing the sticks. So, never mind. Oh, well, well we have a third bucket. Also, never mind the never mind. Let's just doop doop. Okay, and we need to one, two, three, four, five. Control it this way. Uh huh. Being very careful about our uses. Doop, doop, doop. There's our fence. And that should do it. I guess I could rehook the battery. Well, it, it's useless anyway because the pump jack is going to be eating all of it. Well, there it is. There's a quick oil industry in a box for us. Which, why do I have slime in there? And, wait, really? Seriously, only two light engineering blocks? Did the distillation tower not use any? Huh, distillation tower doesn't use any light engineering blocks. That's an interesting factoid. Okay. Uh, the other chore I need to do is I need to raid one of those ships because I'm out of iron blocks. Do I want to do that right now? No. No. Let's save that for next time. All right. Well, this has been a bit of a derp and preparation day, but we have got a lot of infrastructure built, and we are ready to finally get oil industry going next time. And, oh, it sounds like nature is angry at us over it. You can feel the global warming coming, can't you? Oh, yeah. You just swirl and be angry. Lightning strike. There's a lightning rod. Hmm. Honestly, there's not much that I can't build on there. High voltage coil, that's high voltage cable. That's just steel, ain't it? Steel and aluminum. So I would need to tap that aluminum source because I don't have I don't have a good source of aluminum ore right now. If nature's gonna be angry at me, maybe I should harness it. I don't know if it's compatible with weather two. I'll have to test that in creative. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, well, good. While I was pontificating, the filter got clogged. Well, <clears throat> I know today has been boring. Today has been derp, and I apologize for it. But sometimes we gotta have those little kind of chore doing days. Sometimes we just, we aren't it in a good position to do any major goals. So we just need to kind of push through and get a bunch of work done. And this has been one of those days. Next time, we will have a beautiful new industry to show for it, though. 
So I'm looking forward to seeing that with you. You all have yourselves a wonderful day and a good evening. Good night, everybody.